Logseek is a great note taking application. The video is all you need to take those amazing notes. So let's get into it. When you download, install and open it the first time, you'll be presented with a demo. You can type stuff here but this won't be saved. We must choose a location to save files. To do that, click this 8 graph button and then choose a folder. A graph in Logseek is your project. So we are creating a new project. I'm going to create a folder in documents and select this folder. Once a project is created, the warning will go away. Whatever you insert now will be saved. Let's go to my main Logseek program. This is how it looks. To the left is the navigation sidebar. This button will open the right sidebar that allows you to add page contents and see its graph. The settings are in this menu. You can activate the dark mode from here. Many other options are visible but I don't think you need to change anything. Let's go back. To add a new page, click this create button then page. This will ask you to set its title. We'll also see if a duplicate page exists and where the part of the page is linked. Click the new page option to create it. You can also create a new graph slash project by clicking the top left logseek button and then the first option. Alright, logseek is a markdown language program. We don't have any quick options to bold, italicize, underline, add headings etc. But we can use markdown syntax. You can still use the Ctrl plus B shortcut to bold text. But to underline, italicize and other edits, here are the commands to use. Logseek supports linking to other pages. This is called backlinking and you'll use the double large brackets and type the page title inside to link it. If a page with the same name exists, it'll be linked. If not, the link will be created and you can add the page later by clicking on it or creating a new page as we do. Also on every page, you'll see the linked and unlinked references. Linked references are where this page is linked from and unlinked references are those where this page is mentioned but not linked. As you add some lines, you'll see that on every line there is a bullet point. This is because Logseek is a block based app and every line is treated as a block. You can continue the same block on a new line by pressing shift plus enter keys. Because of this functionality, Logseek creates a task hierarchy. For example, if you write down something, you can go to the next line, press the tab key and enter information related to the above block. You can go as deep as you like. When you have enough sub blocks, you can click on the bullet point to open a separate page and see the navigation and blog contents. This is helpful in many projects. Let's learn to attach images and files. To attach an image, you simply drag and drop it. It will show the image string but clicking outside will display the image. In the same way, you can attach other file types. Let's say I want to attach this zip file, I can just drag and drop it. Or this PDF file. We can then click on those files to open them. The supported files are opened in Logseek and unsupported ones will open in the default application. Moving on we find journals, one of the most prominent features of Logseek. Every time you open Logseek, you'll see this page. The program will create a new section for the new day and here you can add things to do, things that happened, your day and anything else you can think of. Let's add a few things now. I'll add a heading to and name it things happened. I'll add stuff like meeting with John or going to my sister's house because of a festival etc. However, the best way to utilize this is by creating to-do lists. By typing to do in the beginning, you can make it a task. Suppose I must update the website plugins today or must discuss with John about its security, I will add them here. We'll then click this check to complete this task. Also, if you click on this to do, it will convert to doing. This is useful for longer tasks. Other supported parameters are now and later. For those types, you'll see a separate section below to help you see what's being postponed and what's in progress. 
Like journals, graph view is another solid feature. The knowledge graph uses the links you create on all the pages and shows what pages are linking where. This is a great brainstorming and project management feature to see a project status. It also helps us see any issues in the current setup and any problems that we may see in the future. By default, the daily journal pages are not in this graph but you can enable the option from the right menu. You can also export this view as an image. Now to the slightly advanced topic, plugins increase its functionality. By using every plugin is different, so you must read the instructions that the developer provides. However, to install a plugin, click those three dots and then plugins. Go to marketplace, search for the desired plugin and click install. You'll find the installed plugins here and the plugin information by clicking it. Logseek has a universal search that can search for stuff and create pages. Press the Ctrl plus K keys and this will open. Type in something to see the suggestions. You can quickly create a new page by typing the page title and clicking the first option. Before we go, I wanna cover whiteboards and flashcards. As the name suggests, whiteboards is for boards. This endless canvas lets you add text and shapes and make connections. You can write project flow, instructions, processes and other things. The program has drawing features so you can draw to highlight. Also, flashcards gather important information from pages and daily journals. All you have to do is add the hashtag card to a block and you'll see that block in flashcards. You can then go to that block or review the cards by clicking the buttons located at the bottom. We'll cover text now. Tags in Logseek don't offer much. Logseek treats text as pages so we don't see any difference. Add a hashtag before the word to make it a tag and when you click it, Logseek will create a new page. Lastly, you can favorite a page by opening it and then right clicking on the page title and clicking the first option. Favorite pages are found under favorites. There are other things such as closes, cloud sync and presentations and we'll cover those in later videos. So this is it for Logseek tutorial. Thanks for watching and please let me know if you need any help. I'll catch you later. Take care.